Hey guys, Notorious Bunny here with a little fish update because look, I have different fish in here. <laughs> um, there's a very good reason why there are other fish in here. Um, the orange Serpe Tetras that I had in there before, they were very aggressive. Um, well, not very, they were, they were aggressive. And I added all of these guys in here. These are neon Tetras. I had added these guys in here and the Serpe Tetras started like tearing into them. They were nipping their fins off, they were attacking them, they were just being just total dickheads in general. So I had given those Serpe Tetras to a friend. So I got rid of them, they're not dead, they're fine, they, they're fine. Now these guys I love. The Neon Tetras are very vibrant and they school, they're very active. Um, and they just get along with everybody. You know, I had a group of Neon Tetras in with this guy, which, uh, as you can see, his tank is very disgusting. I have to clean it. But this is Tyler. Um, I had done a video about him a while back, which I'll link in the description. Um, he was in a 10-gallon tank with a bunch of these guys. Um, and that tank had a whole crash because I got fish in from the mail and those fish came with fungus and killed everybody and almost killed him but he survived so that whole tank crashed and then I wound up as you saw I set up a big 22 gallon um, I guess it's not very big but it's bigger so but I did want to just update um, the fact that I put in the fish the new fish and um, how these plants have blossomed so these two, they were, there was one here and one over here. I moved them around, um, and this one here got bigger. The, they're all pretty much flourishing, except for this one in the back down here, the one that they're all kind of on top of now. Well, they just moved away, but the one with the little brown spots on its leaves, that one's not doing so hot. I'm kind of bummed because it's one of my favorite plants, and I really want it to just be big. Um, and I added this Anubis here. Um, I actually took it from in there and cleaned it up and put it in here. And just to give it a more of a full look. So, I mean, all these plants, I mean, you see how big this one is. It was this big when I got it a month ago. Um, so they're all doing pretty good. I wound up, I did move that one. It's still up, so there's like a little cave back here. But I did, I did move that so that the Anubis on this driftwood over here can get more light. Um, but so, yeah, just this is my quick little update. Um, I do plan on adding a few more fish. Not a whole lot because I do like the look of this. It's not a crowded tank. There's only nine neon tetras in here. Um, I bought ten. One of them did wind up dying. Probably from stress from the Serpe tetras. Just, just going after him so much. But um, yeah, so that one died. But these guys are doing fantastic. They're eating really well and the tank's just kind of taking its own course and growing and I just can't wait for these to get bigger so I can break them apart and spread them out a little bit. Kind of make it look like a, a jungle in there. I'm actually, I'm also thinking of getting a piece of driftwood that's like long and branchy and just have it go across the tank. So I don't know, I have a few ideas for this tank. Um, there's a few different types of fish I'm thinking about putting in. Definitely got to get shrimp because they, they clean up the substrate down there. Um, they keep it from uh, getting dirty, you know, too much. They move around the sand, so you have constant movement in there, which is good. And then it becomes its own little ecosystem, and that's really what you want in a fish tank is um, to emulate where the fish came from. So, I mean, neons are, they're from tropics where there's a lot of plants and I mean, this really doesn't have a lot of plant life in it in comparison to their home. You know, I really could do it up more. Um, I still left a broken jar in there. I guess it's an okay touch. I did add this one piece of bamboo, but I definitely plan to get some more bamboo and do like some rows or something with them. So I've got a few ideas and I'm kind of excited about this tank and I really wish I had room for a bigger one, but I don't. Um, I will see you guys next time. Hopefully we get a freakishly hot day. Um, cause I did, on Christmas I did ride my boyfriend's motorcycle and he rode his other motorcycle. But I didn't have a memory card 
for my camera and I didn't happen to grab the pivot heads here so <laughs> I was vlogging and turned out I didn't have a memory card so um, yeah uh, but I'm hoping to get in some motorcycle vlogs soon um, but I did want to just throw up this quick video so uh, like I said in um, some of the descriptions uh, which no one ever reads the description on any video if you want me to do like an entire first setup of a tank and maintaining it like putting it all together I'll do a small scale version and I'll totally show you guys exactly a A to B how to set up a tank and maintain it and blah 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 so if you want me to I will if not that's fine too I don't care um, but I just love these guys look at them So anyway, um, yeah, so peace out. I will talk to you guys later. I'm going to go get ready for New Year's since it is New Year's Eve. And I got to go put together some slutty, skanky, dressy outfit thing because I am a girl sometimes. So, but anyway, I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.